I don't know what happened. You just feel like it got out of control or something, or just out of our hands or something. Things between Josh and I haven't been great. I'm just, I'm just ready to get back home, curl up in my bed, nice hot shower, simple <laughs> look through the fridge. He is done, and he wants to go home. I, to be honest with you, am feeling abandoned. Because not only is he leaving me here alone to do it all again, it's leaving an emotional commitment that I thought I had. I just think it'd be best if I just we get back to our own lives. i just not trying to be here anymore. I just think you're a chicken I'm just not, I'm not trying to be a chicken I think you're... you just don't understand where I come from, and you're sitting here like, I, this is not what the hell it's all about. Whatever. And I just want to get my go. Well, fine, get your and go. <sighs> well, apparently you're not very good at promises, so. Yeah, well. So I guess our, your, your offer to stay friends is probably won't be a great promise either. No, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make enemies with you. I'm just letting you know that I feel bad. I feel like now that I, mean, just, I don't want to keep leading you on. I'm not trying to sit here, and you, you know, I just I feel like with what we've had and what we've been doing, it's just better off to get going. Wow. And I really don't know what else to say. I'm not good at. It's about the best I can give you. Doing. I mean, we got we got leaks. We got leaks going on the floor. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I got a leak. Put your plan underneath it and probably get some. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. I don't know, but I do appreciate you. I, don't... I mean. I wish you well. I'm sorry. This sucked. It's not, it's, it's just, it's just not my lifestyle. It's not bad. You did everything you could do for me. I just. I'm ready to get, so I just want to get the home. I think you should do that. What do you want to do? Gonna go get a hotel. All right, yeah, we'll get you back into town. <laughs> I feel like let down again, let, just let down, abandon maybe. <laughs> it hurts because I, I put my hopes into a man and, or what I thought was a man. He's just one more person who let me down. One more person that makes big promises and, oh, we're gonna get it done. Oh, we're gonna do this together. The first minute it gets hard, what I don't even understand is I'm a girl. I'm a girl and I'm doing this pretty much by myself. Here he is as a big old strong man and he can't hack it. That's ridiculous. So grab it. Yeah, just lift up. I'm not doing anything at all. <laughs> OK, just move. I got it. <laughs> After a couple months having to sleep in a tent, the house is finally enclosed enough that we can move in and not have to worry about rain waking us up. We own, bitches. <laughs> there you go. You need help? No. Nah. I've never had anything that's mine or to call my own. Like, I wasn't homeless or anything, but it wasn't my house, that was my aunt's house. And I can actually say that this is my home. Like, my children will see this home one day and I'll be able to say, I helped build this. There we go. Oh. All right. Shall we blowing up the bed? Yep. This is the first time that I've been in it. All right. Since the roof went up. It's coming together. 
It feels great seeing everything come together. This is going to be the first house on the property, so uh, it's a learning experience, but we're getting there. We're getting through it. Our house. Our house. What did I say? That's our house. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought that was a correction. I was like, no. <laughs> our house. You said the first house on the property. This is our house. Our house. Yeah. I got you. You excited for our first night tonight? Oh, yeah. It's getting there. I'm ready. Slow and steady. Yeah. Well, there you go, baby girl. We got a bed. Yep. Oh. Oh. comfy? Yeah, it's comfy. It's not the ground. Right. Come get in. All right. Oh. We taking a nap? Something like that. Ooh. All right. You know, I never saw myself moving in or living with a guy before I got married, right? Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> My mama just gave me a whole earful about this. I, it scared mm. me. <laughs> you don't want to hear about my, what my mama said? Yeah, let's hear it. She said, I'm living in sin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> when I first talked to Joe, the compromise for the wedding was nobody's family was invited, and it was just a small, intimate ceremony for us. I'm more than OK with the way our wedding is going to be. But I need a ceremony soon because of my family and poly relationship plans. Can we set a date for the wedding now, Daddy? February 31st. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> You ain't even for that. I would definitely have jealousy issues if we build a poly lifestyle together and we don't get married just because I got to be the number one bitch. Like, if I'm not, it's not going to work for me. You have full control, baby girl. So, like, next week? Let's for real, go. for real? Let's go. OK. Uh, what the queen doesn't know is that tonight, I'm going to set up a little uh, ceremony for me and her out here on the property under the stars. I'm so glad I stepped out on faith with you. Yeah, you did good. I cannot believe we're sleeping in our little tiny home. We'll have a real, bi a real bed, a bigger bed in here shortly. It's OK. I'll take this one as long as you stay in it with me. I woke up this morning. I couldn't find one of my dogs, Mejia. She wasn't in the cabin. She wasn't right outside the cabin. She's just gone. And unfortunately, Spence went off to work. Mejia! I mean, normally you call her and then, you know, she comes. But she didn't do that at all yesterday. Last night, Mejia was really sick. She wasn't drinking too much water. We noticed she was pretty lethargic, and we weren't sure why. We leave the door open so the dogs can come in and out of the cabin, and for some reason, she just wandered out. And I'm freaking out right now. I've, I've kind of looked around for a few hours this morning, like, in all, like, the obvious places surrounding, like, the cabin. This is really, really scary. This is really heart-wrenching. We don't know what she ate, maybe a dead animal, maybe some mold off of some rotting food. And in the case of a dog getting sick, um, that instinct will kick in where they might just wander to try and go die somewhere. There's a lot of little, like, hidey holes that she could definitely just kind of curl up and hide in. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to start looking in this area now. Hopefully I find her and hopefully she's not dead. <laughs>